Okay, <clears throat> this is a request video by Jeremy Zamoff. Yeah, Zayamoff. Jeremy Zayamoff. And this is a request that he made for me to show my Melvin's records. So here we go. This is a little record given to me by Tony Collins of Bullhead City, Arizona. And it's the Melvin Smash the State EP. And is there anything inside? Nope. Just a record. It's not just a record. It's a great record, especially when you speed it up. And it's the Melvins, so if you're not into the Melvins, how can I explain what it sounds like? Bam! Melvins, smash the state. Here's another Melvins record given to me by Tony Collins. Oh, and here's a little um, tiny flyer. For the Melvins with Black Heart Procession at Tremors, Maryland Parkway, Las Vegas, Nevada, $12, uh, Monday, April 8th, and they're wearing a Devo t-shirt. And I went to this. And here is the little 7-inch that is very Alice Cooper-ish. And this is a double seven inch package and it sounds wonderful, especially when you speed it up. It just gets more and more entertaining the faster you play it. And what this thing is called, I don't know. Does it have a name? M-O-F. Melvin's MOF. All right. And here is a record store day Melvin's release. But it doesn't tell you who is on the record as far as the outside packaging. You got to buy it to find out. Uh, and when you find out, it's the Melvin's doing an MC5 rocket reducer. And, no, I'm sorry, this is the MC, on this side is the MC5 doing Rocket Reducer number 62. And then on this side is the Melvins doing the same song. So we go from Atlantic to Electra on this one. And this one's really good. Both sides are the same song. But it's not the same song. The Melvins have really twisted it and they did a good job of it. All right. And I'm going to save the best for last. Here we go. Although this one's pretty good. My friend Tony got me this from a Melvin show. This is the Melvin's Light, and this is the Random Freak Puke Picture Disc, the one where you didn't know what you were getting until you opened it up. And this is the version that Tony Collins got me of the Freak Puke LP by the Melvin's. And again, very strange sounding stuff. Great album cover though. That's an album cover that sticks with you. All right, let's put that there. Let's get into, this is one I bought. I don't want you to think that all my Melvin's releases were handouts or on the cuff. This is the Melvins, Nude with Boots, greatest album cover ever.
And this one is, yeah, the record looks very, very like the cover. And the beautiful thing about this nude with boots, it has the song that you hear. Well, it has a cover version of the song that you hear at the beginning of the movie, The Shining. It's just outstanding. Would definitely recommend buying Nude with Boots just for that alone. All right. And this is another Melvin's record that Tony sent me. This is Stag. Double LP. And this is a trip to listen to. In fact, it's playing in the background right now. Granted, it's being played sped up. But it's a record that Play it slow, play it at the correct speed, play it fast. Either way, it's very inventive and entertaining. All right, here's another LP that Tony Collins sent me. This is the Melvins slash Butthole Surfers. Melvins on one side, Butthole Surfers on the other. And the butthole surfers on this one are three songs that they left off of the bootleg, I guess, live double LP that the butthole surfers put out. And I wish they would reissue that thing with all the songs that you got when you buy it, when you bought the cassettes or you bought the CD. If you buy the LP, you're missing a bunch of stuff from what they put on the CD. And this one gives you three of them. And I think there's probably six. So there are three missing songs from the Bootleg Butthole Surfers Live LP. All right. Oh, and the Melbourne side of this is very entertaining. All right, here we go. This baby is a Melvin's record. And this one, I met this woman in Portland, Oregon when she signed one of the little books that she wrote. She also did the art for this particular record. And her name is, oh geez. I don't know. I forgot what her name is, but I do have her book autographed. Uh, I do know that she did the artwork for the Sig Howdy Jello Biafra Melvin's record. And I had her autograph that too. And I sent her a $20 bill and she sent me this. This is the Melvin's slash hammerhead split seven inch picture disc and that's her artwork and she signed it up so let's take a look at it the melvins on this one do growing disgust hammerhead do light industrial and this is on Amphetamine Reptile Records. There you go, a record directly from the artist who drew that scary woman. <laughs> and I never would have gotten this thing if I hadn't have driven all the way to Portland, Oregon to have her sign her book and have her sign that Jello Biafra Melvin's record. All right, let's wrap this thing back up in its precious little paper and put it back in its precious little box so it doesn't get ruined because it's limited edition. 
which I've said before, all editions in time are limited. So saying limited edition is kind of meaningless. Anyway, there you go. That's the last Melvin's record. And this, I don't know which one I think is best. Um, I think this one's best. The version of the MC5 song they do on this one is completely swinging. I dig it. Okay, so that's the Melvins record collection. And thanks to Jeremy Zayamoff for the request. All right, I'm going to do another video, but it's um, actually I'm going to do a series of videos from my collection of soundtracks that I think, well, I think it's fun. Um, I, I think they're varied and entertaining. So next video you will see from me will be the soundtracks series. All right.